Hi, this is Jen Solon from the Wellness Enterprise, and I am here with Hope Fitzgerald from the Wave Energy Center for Conscious Evolution. Hi, Hope. Hey, Jen. How are you? Doing great, thanks. Great. Well, I'm so happy to be with you, and um, we are going to be talking about the VitaJewel Infinity Blend. It's a blend that you are responsible for creating that you created in collaboration with the Wellness Enterprise and VitaJewel. And before we get into that and hear about why the Infinity Blend is so special, I want you to talk a little bit about who you are, what you do, and what the Wave Energy Center for Conscious Evolution is. Well, I'm a normal everyday person, except that I've had some abnormal things happen in my life which have moved me in certain directions. So what that means is uh, after a lifetime of studying spiritual things, becoming a little bit of a healer and a this and a that, uh, and also a dowser, um, I had a very interesting thing happen in 2010 where I, there were a series of three visions. Uh, the last vision ended up as a watery figure eight sign actually represented right here you can see the figure eight beautiful and uh and that was uh told to me um <clears throat> is something called the infinity wave it's a representation of course it's a this figure eight, watery figure figure eight excuse me is uh representing a tenth dimensional energetic that is chock full of 10th dimensional love and compassion and in a flowing uh, manner. So it's an idea and in the way that ideas can impact reality, it can impact reality and actually change reality in a moment. So I was told to develop workshops around this even though I didn't know what the heck I was doing and I was terrified. Um, I do tend to listen to my guidance. And so I did that and I uh, developed these workshops over the course of 2011. Um, I received practices to give to the people in the workshops that involved the infinity wave. And I embarked on a down the rabbit hole journey that, um, you know, was pretty fascinating and still is to this day. So over the course of these many years now, since I've been doing this and teaching this in the world and more importantly, using it with myself, so much has changed. Uh, so I've, I've come into so, such a deep understanding of reality that is different from what I had before. And I was already pretty out there. <laughs> but the infinity wave not only impacts our everyday lives, our interactions with other people, our bodies, our emotional state, but it also is a communication tool between us and that which lies around us, whether that's the earth and all of nature, every kind of animal, rocks, clouds, planets, you know, we can connect with the wave. We can connect anyway, but the wave makes it fast and easy. And we can also connect with our higher guidance, whatever you want to call that. And there are many names and many different kinds of guidance. But if you want to connect to your, your higher self, to what you might consider your guide team, or to creator, uh, you can, and the infinity wave helps you to do that. It is a tool for spiritual evolution, and it was meant for these times that are, shall we say, bumpy. Um, when we stay fluid and not in resistance, we tend to do better than the than if we get stuck and the push of evolution is upon us as a planet, as a species, 
I think everybody could probably agree to that. So how do we navigate? The infinity wave helps us to do that. So along the way, I uh, called up my good friend, Patrick, who I've known since he was a little boy. And I said, you gotta come to one of these workshops. And he did, and it impacted him very deeply. And he signed on to help me for the next phase of launching what I, what you mentioned, the Wave Energy Center for Conscious Evolution, which is basically exactly what I've described. It's wave energy, this 10th dimensional infinity wave, uh, applied to our conscious evolution. We're not just going to go about this, la di da I don't know what's happening to me. No, lots of people want to become, they want to wake up. Yes. And they want to become fully present into where we are in this moment and how to respond in a way that will always be lifting them up on their on the spiral of their own evolution. Mm -hmm. So this is what the, the Wave Energy Center for Conscious Evolution is all about. And uh, somewhere in the early stages of working with Patrick, he was contemplating which of a variety of water products broader uh, filters, he should invest, you know, put, put more of his time and energy into representing them, researching them, et cetera, et cetera. And so he called me up and asked me to douse for him. Mm -hmm. so, he, so I didn't know, maybe I'd heard of one of them, but so we went through uh, two or three of these. No, I think it was three or four of these. And the rods, my dowsing rods said, no, no, no. And then he got to this one that was much smaller, odd shaped. And, he, and, and when we got to that one, my rods were 100% yes. Hmm. And I said, well, what is that? He said, well, I, I was afraid you'd say, <laughs> I was afraid you'd like that one. <laughs> I said, why? And he said, well, it's the most unusual. Hmm. It's this thing called structured water. Mm. Now this was in 2012 mm. and nobody had heard of structured water, if you can believe that. And he sent me a unit to try out with a portable unit and I instantly liked it. I have nice well water, but, but it, it, it made me want to drink more. It, I definitely felt um, hydrated. So anyway, Long story short, we got into structured water. And at some point I said to him, Patrick, what is the geometry that the water is flowing through when it goes from the faucet through the device? And it took about three or four months to get an answer to that. And then he called me and he said, are you sitting down? And I said, yes. And he said, well, it's going in infinity signs. <laughs> the geometry inside the device. So I said, well, now we have actual physical infinity water as we're also using the energetic of the infinity geometry, right? So ever since then, I have wanted to create a water bottle that would best represent the infinity wave. Well, you think about conscious evolution, it's not a big step to imagine that you're also talking about expanding your consciousness. Yes. So, and the infinity wave can be infinitesimally small or it can be gigantic as, as farther than you can even imagine. So there's no limitation to its size. So I, when Vitajul, when Patrick introduced me to Vitajul, I thought, well, I wonder if there are stones that could be configured to represent the infinity wave. And sure enough, I doused for the stones and for the proper percentage of the stones. And that is how we came up with the infinity wave blend. You can see. So, wow. So you physically, you, you took your dowsing rods and you had different stones in mind and you doused which stones would be the perfect embodiment of the infinity wave energy that you've been working with for years. Yes, exactly. Oh, amazing. And so 
It's aquamarine, um, there's pure quartz, there's sodalite, and ocean chalcedony, correct? Those are the four stones that you doused for. It, I have a little story to tell you. Um, I, I go to the dowsing convention every year, and, but I've never presented until last year. And so nobody really knows anything about me or I just kind of quietly go around and take the classes and listen to the lectures. And it's fascinating, it's a wonderful group of people. And there is a man who opened the ceremonies last summer and is very well known gentleman in those areas. Um, he, he's an energy guy. Let's put it that way. He, and he's very sensitive to energies. He's uh, a, a healer as well. And he's just recognized by that society as being a very advanced person. I don't know him. I didn't know him at that time. So I, Patrick and I had a table with all the Vita Jewel bottles. And it was the first time that I saw the Infinity Wave blend. He opened the box and there it was. It was very exciting. So we put a few of the bottles on the table and one day uh, I was at the table by myself and this gentleman who I was telling you about, this energy guy, walked into the room where there are several other exhibitors. He came straight to our table. He went straight for the infinity bottle and he picked it up and it was empty, but it had the stones in it. Yeah. And he did this. Silently, not a word passed between us. He goes like this. He goes. And his arm goes straight out. Wow. And he goes, hmm. And then he comes back and he goes like this. And he starts to make the infinity sign. And only at that moment, I'm watching all this going, wow. And... <laughs> <laughs> cool. And he said, all he said to me was, you know, this, this bottle has infinity in it, don't you? And I said, well, I kind of hoped so, but thank you. <laughs> That's great stuff. Because the that. energy goes forever. Wow. So that was a really nice independent confirmation that there was something to it for real so what um i mean that's it's just such a beautiful story hope thanks for taking me and all the listeners on this journey so what what are speaks to some of the benefits that people are gonna be feeling and experiencing drinking infinity water what what does that mean what's that look like <laughs> Well, you know, you know something, I, I just to, as a little preamble, when, when this infinity wave came in and that whole year that I was doing these workshops and really living in blind faith, because who'd ever heard of such a thing? And, you know, and, and also I had to deal with a lot of um, confidence issues. I mean, who... I considered myself an eternal student, and I still do in the realm of spirituality because there's always evolution going to be happening, always new things to be understanding and, and grasping, or at least exploring. Mm -hmm. And so who was I to teach anybody? You know, it was kind of that feeling. And yet my guides were so insistent. There was no turning back. Mm -hmm. And that whole year, I knew enough about the collective unconscious that I thought if I'm receiving this, surely it must be showing up in the wide world somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I started to search. I looked at different logos. I looked in woo-woo stores, you know, and looked for uh, jewelry. I looked everywhere. I, it was nowhere to be found until January, 2012. And then it started to show up. Uh, it started to be in packaging. You started to hear about infinite that and in the infinity, there was a time magazine that was said the infinity machine. That was the only thing it said on it. And it just started to snowball until now it's the most popular 
tattoo for women. I mean, it's, it's ubiquitous now. Yeah. It's in so many places, not only the word infinite or infinity, but the word wave. Oh, you will hear people talk about waves of this and waves of that. It's the coming wave, it, more than it used to be. So I say that because they weren't kidding around when they said there was a push of evolution. It is a literal, literal wave as a push, a wave of energy. And these things are measurable in the scientific community. And I won't get into that now. But it's, it's, it's a very real thing and we're responding to it anyway, mm -hmm. right? We're feeling this pressure, this push. We, lots of people are making lots of huge changes in their lives. In the last year especially, they're going left where they thought they were going right. They're ending this relationship and you know, it's just across the board, all my clients, everybody. <clears throat> because we're being pushed to make decisions and to have uh, whatever's been hidden come out and be faced mm -hmm. and reckoned with. So what we're moving towards, whether we're aware of it or not, is greater freedom, greater expansion, uh, greater individual choice, mm -hmm. greater responsibility as well. So what does it mean to both work with the infinity wave and to drink infinity water? It means that we're now putting this water that is emanating in, uh, it, 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 it's, it's every cell, it's every molecule is packed with this infinity wave vibration, mm -hmm. I believe. We put that into our bodies, which are mostly water as we know. Now we are asking our cellular system to be soaking in this expansion energy, which also carries with it this high level of love and compassion. Now, what is that gonna do to us? That's going to give us the kind of uh, bolstering we need for the things that we are dealing with on a daily basis on an hourly basis, given the news, given every, all the changes happening with people all around us and even within ourselves. Mm -hmm. We need to stay in love and compassion. That, that's it. Mm -hmm. We have to stay in love and compassion. Mm -hmm. We can work it on the spiritual levels by using the infinity wave with ourselves, with connecting up, with connecting down into the earth. And we can use it on a physical level by pumping it into our cells. Yeah. Now, the other piece about this is, has to do with sound. Now, I don't know if stones emanate sound if they're not struck, you know, dinged in some way. I, but I do know that they emanate a vibration there's a there's a there's an energy coming from them mm -hmm. so let's for, for just for giggles let's call that sound let's say the stones are singing some kind of sound some kind of vibration into the water okay what that does much like structuring water is that sends a geometry into the water now when we drink regular water or when we hear chaotic sound, it impacts our cells. Uh, being on a street in New York City, you hear honking this and that and people, you know, lot cacophony of sound. It's disorganized, it's chaotic. That reaches our bodies, whether we're conscious of it or not, it reaches our bodies and our cells go, ah, ah. it's, it's not harmonic, it's not cohesive. Yeah. And so we start to feel all of a piece, this, not all of a piece, we start to feel discombobulated. Yes. When we hear a beautiful gong, or a tone on a, on a, on a crystal bowl, or a bell, 
anything that has a pure tone to it, that sound carries with it a geometry. And it takes our cells and the water in them and immediately clicks them into cohesion, synchrony. Mm -hmm. Now we are no longer chaotic, discombobulated. With that tone, we are immediately shifted into, ah, I've done this experiment with people in New York where there are gatherings of 30 people. And as they come in the room, I have a handheld bowl and I sound them and I run it up and down their bodies. And I watch every single one at the, some point or whatever they go. <sighs> it, you know, it's like clockwork yeah. as their bodies drop into synchrony. And now they have a prayer of getting to some kind of relaxation. Their minds can be at one with their bodies. Their emotions can fall in because their bodies are now geometrically in sync. Mm -hmm. So I think, now I'm just, you know, going out all here without, I haven't backed this up by science, but it stands to reason that if that can happen with ourselves, with sound, and these little stones in here are vibrating, there's some kind of geometry that's also happening with the water. And I also want to say that in the way we have this decal that we put on the bottle, that is following in the footsteps of Dr. Emoto, who would uh, famously label vials of water with different words. Under, and he proved that the molecules responded to the vibration of the word. Mm -hmm. So if the word was love, that molecule would turn into a beautiful six-pointed uh, star, like a snowflake. Mm -hmm. If the word was hate, it became muddled and there was no star shape at all. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's many, many experiments that anybody can look up. But what we're doing here, much like that, is taking the energy of the infinity wave with this 10th dimension of love and, and, and compassion and imprinting it on the water. Beautiful, Hope. Thank you so much. I know my answers are long, but all these things tie together. They do. They all tie together. And everything that you shared today, I think people will really understand the essence of the, the infinity symbol, the wave, and the bottles, and what's available for people through drinking infinity water and what's available for evolution and you know loving compassionate energy on the planet so it's it's such a beautiful gift and you know you have the infinity bottle and we just released the infinity vial so the vial that goes into the decanters and the grande dispensers that people can purchase to have large beautiful fountains of water as centerpieces in their homes so you know, through the Wellness Enterprise, through Hope, and this collaboration with, with Vita Jewel, we've been able to create this for everybody to have. And you can uh, follow uh, Hope, keep in, connected with her below the video. They'll be in the description, lots of information about how to reach her, how to purchase your infinity water, your bottle that, that you can have with you forever as, you, as you're off in the world doing all the great things that you're doing. So thank you, Hope, for, for your time today. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Always great to talk with you, Jen.